G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we have my 50 cent collection book here, already partly filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. And realistically, we are only looking for one coin to finish this book off and start a brand new book, and that is the Centenary of Federation. Coat of arms of Canberra from the ACT. Australian Capital Territory, that's the only coin that we're looking for. We have all the other Centenary of Federation coins and all the other commemorative coins up into the 2019 International Year of Indigenous Languages. Got a few other low minted coins here as well. But let's put the book aside and get into the coins so that we can see and try and find this Australian Capital Territory coin. As we go through, as always, I'll be looking through the, the reverses, just looking for the commemorative coins, and at the end I'll go through all the coins uh, to look for those years of low mintage and uh, other coins of note. The first coin off the top of the first roll is the Millennium Year coin from 2000. This one's pretty dirty, and on the Millennium Year coin we do look out for the incused flag variety. This one seems to be the standard variety. The incused flag variety has a incused medal on the cross in the union flag on the Australian flag so I'll put that one up top there call that the common commemorative row that is second coin is the standard coat of arms and as I say we're looking through all of those at the end third coin down we have the Commonwealth Games Brisbane coin from 1982 our first Commonwealth Games commemorative coin very highly minted so that will also go up on the top row and then as we flick through, we will see what we can see. There's a 2010 coin, and we always check the 2010 coat of arms for a rotation error. That seems to be fine. And we have another Brisbane, Commonwealth Games Brisbane. Again, going down on the top row. And when I do look out for coins of note, I look out for low minted years, 1985, 1993, 2019 IRB coin. In 2020, Jody Clark. Here we have another commemorative coin, the Silver Jubilee coin, 25th anniversary of the reign of Queen Elizabeth II from 1977. That one's in quite good condition, but it is a common coin, so it will go up on the top row. And there we have it for our first roll. I'll put that to the side so we can look through it at the end. And when I do look through the coins at the end, I look for the years 1986, 87, 89, 1990, 1992 and 2005, because those were years where coat of arms were issued, but not into circulation, only into sets. So that would be NIFC coins. Here we have a 2001 coin. This has got a different coat of arms on it. This is the 1912 Commonwealth coat of arms, and this is part of the Centenary of Federation series, the highest minted of that. So that'll go down on the top row. We've got another one there straight afterwards. We'll continue on looking for those coins. It'll be good to find some coins to keep this week. Last week was a very, very skinny hunt. Nothing of particular note. It's been pretty hard to find really good coins in the 50 cent denomination. But hopefully we can find something of note this time around. And this is on our third roll, and after our third roll, we will speed the hunt up slightly. There's a very yuck coin with a uh, yuck gun on it. We'll put that to the side. Yes, well, I'll slow the hunt down, or I'll speed the hunt up, sorry. Here we have a 1998. This is the Bass and Flinders. Uh, 100 years of determining that Tasmania was an island and not part of the mainland. The... Uh, expedition there was in 1798 so this is a 1998 coin 100 years from that sorry 200 years from that expedition i think last week i said it was 1788 i was wrong there's another 2010 and we'll check through that that's fine and then we have the very first commemorative coin in the 50 cent denomination the 1970 captain cook's bicentennial that's 200 years of celebrating his journey across the eastern seaboard of Australia from 1770. A couple of bicentennial coin celebrations there. That's another 2010, we'll check that. Oh, that's fine. 
and go on and keep looking through the coins and that's it for the third roll so as i said we will speed the hunt up slightly only stop for when we find something of, of note something that we haven't found on the day already i'll annotate it and lay it down but hopefully we get some good coins that we can keep for the wider collection but let's uh get into it now and there we see for the first time the Australia's Volunteers in 2003. It's got significant toning on it, making it look a bit dull. Now uh, that's celebrating Australia's Volunteers of all shapes and sizes. And I'll go down in the top row. That's a very common commemorative. there for the first time this last coin in this roll is the weary dunlop coin this is the 50th anniversary of the end of world war ii from 1995 celebrating our war hero weary dunlop And there for the first time we have the international year of the family from 1994 and that particular variety we look for a wide date variety with a nine in the four on the 1994 slightly larger and a little bit wider and this one this is not quite it the nine in the four are a little bit bigger they're not much wider and that could or may or may not be a wide date but we do have a lot of those wide dates already in the collection so we'll put that one down on the common commemorative row Oh, look at that. That's not too bad at all. We have the 25th anniversary of decimal currency, the Ram's Head coin from 1991. This is definitely a keeper for the collection. We don't see very many of those. It's a little bit lower minted than most of the other uh, memory of coins. Yeah, at 4.7. Still a lot of coins. 4.7 is still a lot of... Uh, 4.7 mil is still a lot of coins, but harder to find now after uh, 20... Uh, what is it? nearly 30 years 30 30 uh 33 years so very very nice to be keeping one of those in the collection that'll definitely be a keeper and straight after we have the year of the outback from 2002 another common commemorative celebrating australia's outback And there we have a changeover uh, on this ender on this roll. This is the changeover 50th anniversary of the end or the um, 50th anniversary of decimal changeover. So that's the same design coin there on the uh, the ram's head in the little uh, obverse design emblem with the, the uh, Queen Elizabeth's effigy there in small state and so it has the coat of arms the standard coat of arms on the uh, reverse but on the obverse it's got the commemorative side 50th anniversary and the 25th anniversary of the two rams head you would have seen hopefully you've had a look at oh we hope you hopefully you've had a look at my uh changeover video that i did uh, a few weeks ago explaining the differences between the changeover set and the original coins that came out here we have a western australia uh 2001 centenary federation in really really good condition Mm, very good condition actually and back to finding some centenary of federations unfortunately not Co uh, canberra coat of arms but that's definitely a keeper and it'll go down on the bottom row there 
And then we have this coin for the first time. It's the Australia Day celebration. Celebrate what's great, Australia Day 2010. And that is also a common commemorative. And we'll go up on the top row. Now we've got a couple of really nice coins. Actually, that, even though I'm going to put it, that is a common commemorative of that 20, uh, 50th anniversary. So it won't go down on the Keeper's Row, but put it down there because it was side by side with the Ram's Head. But I'll move it up to the top row because it's not a Keeper. Uh, it is relatively common. It's 7 million of those. 1980 in really good condition and I'll check that for a double bar but it's a standard 1980 always check the 1980 and 1979 for a double bar variety only keep those if they're in really good condition though so there we go Oh, wow, look at this. This Captain Cook is in fantastic condition. Wow, how shiny is that? That is going to get upgraded in the book. I'm going to take out the old Captain Cook, and this is probably looking like the best Captain Cook that I've ever found out of circulation. Wow, that is a fantastic find. Move that over to the side. And there for the first time today, we see the secondary student competition winner for a 50 cent piece design. It's a little bit grubby, but it's from 2005 and it was created to celebrate the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games. there for the first time today which is quite a ways in we see the 2005 60th anniversary of the end of world war ii and this particular coin the remembrance coin we look out for little die chips all over uh, the helmet card uh, around the robe on the cross sometimes we even see them on the uh, queen's effigy there this one's pretty good even though it's in banged up condition but it's going to go down it's a common commemorative it's going to go down on the common commemorative row Oh, and this is the last roll too. Nearly finished off the whole, all of the rolls without stopping in the last roll. So still a possibility of a bit of last roll luck. These last few coins, we'll see how it goes. But no, it doesn't look like we're going to get the Centenary Federation ACT coin today. We'll have to keep on going and try and get that last coin. Uh, but 
two really good coins uh, for the wider collection and uh, this other Captain Cook, which now that I think about it, I'm not going to, maybe not going to put that in the book. I'm going to put that in a flip and put it into my um, uncirculated uh, condition collection. But before I do do that, I'm going to quickly go through the coat of arms looking for any of those other uh, years of low mintage and uh, any errors or anything like that. I'll be back in a sec. Well, only one coat of arm of any note amongst the rest of the coat of arms, but it's a quite a nice coat of arm. It is the 1993. That's one of the low minted years. Only one million of those uh, issued, minted into circulation. It's a little bit dirty there on the obverse, a little bit worn, but 1993 low minted 50 cent coat of arms is definitely a great outcome for this hunt. And along with our Centenary of Federation from Western Australia, that is a fantastic coin and also in great condition as well. Uh, the 25th anniversary of decimal currency, the Ram's Head, that is a great coin to be putting in. So we've got a 1991, a 1993, as well as a 1970, this last coin, which is in such great nick. I've been looking at it now for a little bit and I definitely am going to be flipping it, putting it in my wider collection, not into the book. This is, yeah, magnificent looking coin. I can't, the camera doesn't do it justice with the the, uh, the lighting. It looks great. The actual in hand quality is magnificent. So that's going to go definitely into the wider collection, but it's going to go into a flip, not into the book. So you won't see that one again for a while. I'll put that, I'll put that down here. So 1970, 1991, 1993, and 2001. Not bad. Not, not bad at all. Very happy with today's hunt. Compared to last week's, if you like my hunts uh, and you'd like to see more of them, please subscribe to the channel. You'll see more of my videos in your feed. Uh, if you are finding, if you ever found a Captain Cook like that one, I'd like to hear about that, leave a comment down below. Uh, what's the best coin that you've ever found? What condition was it in? Best coin. Otherwise, uh, as you know, I'll be back for more noodling in a couple of days. So I'll see you then. Bye.